Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we're looking at all energies for the monthly for July. So welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy placements, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it, meaning if I'm reading something as something else's or someone else's energy, but you feel like it's yours or vice versa, just follow your intuition and switch it when you need to, especially cross watchers could actually be reading or messages for you. All right, Aquarius. Okay. So far, we have understanding and beauty. So we have 40, which uh, four, very stable ground energy. And we have 43, seven, divinely guided energy here. Seven and four would be 11, life path, soul path number. So there's something either, <laughs> somebody may be actually approaching you and maybe telling you how they're feeling or they find you beautiful, maybe offering a little romantic gesture, maybe flowers or something like that. I'm feeling like somebody here really wants to make you understand how they're truly feeling. And maybe you were a little unclear, maybe how this person was feeling as well. But I think th there's going to be an understanding here as well. And you may be now seeing the beauty of something as well and having a better understanding of something going on in your life right now. All right. Let's see, Aquarius, what else do we need to know for you, for uh, Aquarius? Everything you need to know is down below, Aquarius. Your playlists are down there. Um, you can definitely check out your June readings if you missed them. There's st still time as well. And uh, if you're new here, everything you need to know is down below. Content, times, days. I do eight readings a month to a week. I may be changing in a couple months with overtime kicking in my full-time job, but you can keep an eye out on the community tab. It's where I post all my updates. All right. After this, I'll be doing the love readings. So list of all kind of readings I do, that's all down below if you're new here. All right. So Aquarius, let's see what else you need to know. Okay. We have respect, 15, 6, which is a balanced energy. Oops and oh, fell on the floor and we have calmness we have 13 which is four so again four is a stable energy so hmm so i'm feeling like with this understanding like seeing something for what it is the beauty in something or understanding about something comes a newfound respect and calmness in a situation so if there was a little upheaval in your life or a little disconnect or discord with you and another, there could be, you know, coming to an understanding, a calming, healing energy, maybe a peace offering, and having a better understanding of the situation as well. Maybe finally giving each other the respect, apology, forgiveness, healing, whatever that may be. This is going to restore balance and a very uh, stable energy as well. And we have six four, which would be 10 completions, new beginnings, full circle as well. All right. So Aquarius, let's see what else you need to know. Aquarius, I do have another channel for Twin Flames. If you're interested in that, the link is down below. So you can check that out if you would like to. I was doing Zodiacs once a month as well as collective readings, but a little hard to keep both channels that schedule and a full-time job. So I may may just gear it towards collectives over there when I have the time. Um, it's just a little channel I just started not too long ago and you know, just for a little fun to do something different. But if you wanna check it out, link is below. All right, Aquarius. What do we have here for Aquarius? For Aquarius. Okay. We have salamander. Salamanders, I believe, are indestructible. Fire, Aries Leo Sag. And dove, peace. So there's that peaceful feeling that I was feeling. And I'm just going to read you, um, you know, rising above, peace, understanding, harmony. And we have 20, no, we have 32 with the salamander, which is 
change five that'd be five change so let's see fire salamander contentment basking in the good things of life and being renewed by warmth so yeah so i definitely feel like there's going to be some sort of healing between you and another it could be someone you had a riff with whether it was a lover a friend a f you know a family member a co-worker i definitely think there's um going to be healing respect understanding maybe apologies and then a much more peaceful outcome of the situation here so we have 26, which is eight, which is about taking action, putting in the work. And again, we have 32, five, which is about change. So things are gonna change here, what I feel. All right. So let's see what is going on for you, Aquarius. What is going on? Or Aquarius. All right. All right. We are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. All right, July, July, July for Aquarius. So we have Justice, Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, just everything I just said. <laughs> You know, truth, clarity, justice, balance, the restoring of energy here, you know, karmically things balancing out. Queen of Cups, love restored, peace and harmony, and Eight of Pentacles putting in the work. It could be a work situation for some, whatever that is, but putting in the work, restoring the balance, the peace, the harmony, the love, the compassion, peace offerings. Again, it could be love. It could be, it could be anything here. Definitely, I feel like that's what's coming in here. So we have Libra and Cancer. Or it could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces showing up. And we have Four of Swords. That's that healing. So there might have been a time out here. You know, might have been, you know, no communication for a while with you and another. But that's the healing. You know, thinking things through. You know, taking a break. Just kind of retreating. But there's, you know, partnerships coming back into balance here. Whatever they may be. Platonic. Romantic. Um work related whatever that is you know peace peace and understanding wheel of fortune so things getting better from here that is for sure positive movement forward things meant to be new cycle happening and the king of cups we've got the king queen of cups here so definitely partnerships are going to be restored here so pisces showing up sag leo curse taurus scorpio Things are going to get better from here. Definitely here. Yeah. Six of Cups. So there will be a return, you know, whether it's family, you know, coming back together here. Family, maybe even your own children, adult children, whatever that may be. Friends, co-workers. Peace, harmony restored. Excited for the new beginning. Things are looking up. Things are looking good. Eight of Cups. So you might have had to go on a break, you know, from this energy and just go off on your own go on your own journey and say okay i gotta just put this behind me for now i need to take a break from this and walk away probably was the best thing and a little time out you know a little respite retreat from the energies when the time is right it's all going to come back together as i say that the hermit virgo energy here is the same exact energy going you know solo going introspection taking a time out taking a break from the energy and then shedding light on the journey, the inner journey onto why things happened the way they did. Three stars. Yeah, there's a lot of disappointment, heartache and pain here. You know, whether, no matter what the situation was, it was very, very disappointing. A lot of, you know, could have been a lot of things said, done, words that were said, betrayal, whatever happened here. Yeah, leaving it behind. It's like, you know, I gotta, I gotta leave this energy. Two cards of like going on a new journey. And like, you know what? This is just too overwhelming. I can't deal with this right now. And just focusing on yourself. So now things are moving forward in a more positive direction. Some of you may actually had moved, relocated, maybe temporarily. Uh, but Cancer energy here with the chariot is about positive movement forward. Drive, ambition, balance success victory you know 
sorry, my stomach's rumbling, in the Four of Wands is about celebrating. And that could be family as well. Or it could be about a relationship. Now things moving in more positive direction because we took the time out. We stepped back. We focused on ourselves for a while. We did a little inner journey work. Why did this happen? And then when the time is right, people coming together to give each other respect, clarity, um, apologies, whatever that may be. All right. So we do have a lot of warmth, regeneration, regrowth, good things with the salamander, the peace and the harmony with the dove, calmness and respect, beauty and understanding. So there may be something that um, didn't have clarity on that may whatever this is may bring in a new kind of clarity into the situation like oh okay i didn't know that so something may come up that you didn't know and it kind of adds you know a little ease to the situation six of pentacles balancing of the energy here page of wands there's the communication so definitely, um, you know, talking things through. You might it may get a little fired up, passionate at times, but it's also about remaining calm, spiritual, you know, inspired and passionate about your beliefs, but also calm enough to reciprocate evenly. Ace of Pentacles, a solid new beginning here for the long term. So some of you actually may have a new start with this person, whatever the situation may be may actually went on a respite from your career or work and you may be actually going back and you may actually now get like a bonus or a raise maybe a little promotion you know maybe you went on stress leave or whatever the situation whatever this break was was for the better actually i feel because it <laughs> because it gives this energy a chance to rebirth itself definitely here so you have scorpio energy here healing forgiving releasing um making way for the new or just new energy into the situation. Wow. All right. So let's see what else we need to know here for you, Aquarius. It's a little extra clarification here. The world. So definitely there's a new cycle about to begin here. It could be, again, traveling or distance. So the cycle that this energy is feeling stuck in is about to close out and a new cycle starting. Maybe for some of you it's been like three months, three weeks, three months. Hopefully it hasn't been three years, whatever the situation was. But that's definitely a, the gap's about to close. Six of one. So moving forward successfully. So this will be overcome successfully. This whole situation will close out the shadow yeah so this is a devil energy so with some toxicity here capricorn energy you know could have been a lot of negative things done said happened um still a lot of fear surrounding this as well or shadow work or energy that needs to be done between the energies here to heal mend seven of cups a lot of confusion i still feel like there's confusion around this and some sort of truth or clarity comes in or information that helps to alleviate it a little bit especially with justice holding that sword of clarity so we have the page of cups so there's the apologies or romantic gestures whatever that is for you um pisces energy peace offerings taking it slowly one step at a time pisces energy nine of cups so feeling happy again happy content peaceful you know, that's about wishes, dreams coming true. Maybe some of you have been hoping for this whole situation just to be over already and the peace and the healing and relationships restored or whatever they may be. Nine of Pentacles. Definitely single independent energy. So if this is about work, you will be making more money. So if you were, were on a break, a respite, a leave, whatever, you may go back, find out, you know, they're ready to give you a raise, uh, a promotion or something like that. Actually making more money. Some of you may decide, you know, to heal or mend and maybe decide to stay single. But this is definitely stability restored back into your life with the nine of pentacles here. Seven of wands, but, you know, still it's about setting healthy boundaries. Maybe that's what wasn't uh, in place before, what needs to take place. This will lead to, you know, a higher level energy here, whatever this may be, Taurus energy. Could be, you know, within a marriage, it could be within family, tradition, uh, work, 
you know, a big leveling up here, Taurus. Could even be with your own parents or family. We do have the mother here, uh, Libra Taurus energy, birthing of new energy. And then we have the sun here, which is Leo, which is the happiest card in the deck. Healing, love, patience, success, victory, growth, expansion. And then we have the father. So look at that healing. I mean, we even have parents here. So it could be a healing dynamic in a you know, parent parental situation, a family situation, maybe between two where there's a child involved, maybe coming back together to mend high priestess. Again, there's that new communication for a while, Pisces energy, you know, and doing the energy work here with the five of cups, revealing the whole situation. The taking want taking wands, <laughs> taking action, moving forward, knight of wands, Sagittarius energy. Two of swords, so having to make decisions, you know, protecting is an opportunity to move forward in a more peaceful, harmonious, balanced way. Six of Swords could be moving or traveling as well. But uh, I do see whatever this is, peace, harmony, balance will be restored in the situation. But the timeout was necessary, whatever that may be. And now going into this, there's a whole new sense of peace and understanding and respect and love and rebuilding whatever that situation is for you. All right. All right, Aquarius. So let's get you some advice and guidance for Aquarius. Advice and guidance for Aquarius. Advice and guidance for Aquarius. All right. Let's see what you need to know for advice and guidance for Aquarius. Retreat. Well, uh, didn't I need to say that through this whole reading? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Accept what is dying. Yeah. So accepting, you know, things for what they are, letting go what needs to be let go of. Bust out of your cocoon. So yeah, it's time. So if there's been a retreat, you know, a separation, you know, letting whatever this is die out, fizzle out, and it's time to bust out of the energy and begin to explore new energy in this dynamic, whatever that is for you, and rejuvenate. Yeah, so it's time to rejuvenate this as well. Well, because, you know, did have to nurture ourselves first as well. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. It resonated in some way, shape, or form. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlists are down there. You can still check out your June readings if you missed any of them. And uh, do check below everything you need. Content I do, days, times I publish, the Twin Flame channel, everything is down there. So you can still check that out if you like to. So wishing you the best, Aquarius, and I shall see you next time.